Hey family, I'm back again, just like I never left. And this installment is going to be titled Love vs. Fear. Okay. It's a popular topic and I'm going to go into what love is, what it isn't, what's the opposite of love, fear, what it is and what it is not. So tune in, don't touch that dial because I have a lot to say on this one and I guarantee you, you'll like it. Okay. So I just like to give a quick shout out to all my friends and family that's been rocking with me along the way. All my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, go to my YouTube channel, bro prodigy, B R O P R O D I G Y on YouTube like and please subscribe and please tell all your friends and family to tune in okay and this is one for the archives now this is basically like a combination of information that I've got along the way on my on my path some is by me some is not some is by my teacher one of my teachers rather Tom Campbell you can check him out also on YouTube as well and this is just a uh, an explanation it's going to be about I guess an hour I'm not sure it might run a little over I don't know but without further ado let's really get into it uh, love 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 is something you give and it's something you give without conditions, without expectations, without requirements. It's dependent only on you, not necessarily another person. And what I mean by that is it doesn't really matter what the response of another person is in relation to your exhibition of love for another. OK, and you do not have to like someone in order to love them, by the way, but it is more pleasant when those two things go together and people have varying capacities to love and a few, almost none, uh, many somewhat and uh, a very and a few very much. OK, it depends on how grown up they are, how much they are dominated by their fear, belief, and ego. And really, most people confuse need with love. Most people really confuse need with love. Okay, now they fall in need when they find a relationship that really satisfies their needs and soothes their fears now when speaking about relationships relationships on the other hand are about interaction and interaction needs to in relation to a relationship needs to have value to all parties involved or the interaction will dissolve okay if in a specific interaction with another you find limited value, then really you must decide whether or not the relationship has enough potential value for you to invest the time and energy required to maintain it. Increase investment to explore potential value or to decrease investment to limit losses or dissolve the entire interaction. Now, potentials are often more important than the actual sometimes it is just business and sometimes you might really care a lot about the health and welfare of the person you have the relationship with you see relationships can uh, 
persist under any level of commitment. Okay, and commitment within a relationship is generally proportional to the perceived actual or potential value of the relationship. Okay, and unlike love, much about relationships are conditional. Okay, relationships are based on mutual value, which encompasses conditions, expectations, and requirements. Okay, consciousness mine or yours has a certain degree or a certain quality to it depending upon its degree of entropy which is the amount of disorder in a given system okay now one's quality of consciousness is the degree to which you consciousness has evolved at the being level towards love okay a high quality of consciousness equals a great power to love. It is also a low entropy consciousness and it has a high quality of being or a high spiritual quality. A low, however, quality of consciousness equals a low capacity to love. It is a high entropy consciousness and has a low quality of being and also a low spiritual quality. You, me, as consciousness evolves at the being level, okay? And a high quality of consciousness equates to a high capacity to love. A low entropy consciousness, a high quality of being, and a high spiritual quality, whereas a low quality of consciousness equates to a low capacity to love, a high entropy consciousness, a low quality of being, and a low spiritual quality. All these terms are applicable depending on the context. You see, your quality of consciousness restrains your intent by directly affecting the size of your decision space. Okay? And your decision space is your or are your perceived choices that space in which you can readily perceive choices we as consciousness are the pieces of the puzzle making up a larger finite system of consciousness like a fractal we are simply a microcosm of a larger macrocosm and this larger system is referred to as a larger consciousness system and as a whole it evolves towards love which is a higher vibration as opposed to fear okay the opposite arrow is evolving towards disorder and fear which is self-destructive and eventually leads this system to degenerate into random bits of information i.e. a sort of death for this system a sort of digital decay if you will okay because we do live in a digital consciousness system which means that data is arranged is arranged in discrete chunks or packets okay now this would be a good time really to explain why a system such as this would have to be a finite one so let me really go into why this system would essentially have to be a finite one concepts like infinity and eternity exist only as concepts because nothing real can be infinite in its wholeness, that is. Why? Because you can never reach infinity or eternity because once you get there, you could always go beyond it. And as a being of consciousness, okay, once you reach infinity or eternity, you can always go beyond that as simply existing as a being of consciousness. And furthermore, any modern day concept of God 
would have to be false because anything that knows all and is all exists in a state of suspended animation being prohibited from learning and growth and would therefore be declared dead alrighty now anything that is real has to be a uh, a consciousness that has a beginning and moves evolves changes and adapts anything that has no beginning no room to grow nor to evolve nor to diversify or expand in awareness is dead these are simply concepts that we attach to created gods according uh, made according to our own beliefs okay and belief along with ego and fear is our number one problem that we face as beings of consciousness having a human experience and one should always operate with open-minded skepticism furthermore there is no limit in relation to how perfect the aspect of love can be therefore this larger consciousness system is a system of consciousness that continually evolves decreasing elements of fear and ignorance and moving progressively towards love which is the highest vibration okay or moving along the this higher evolutionary arrow now is there ever an end point is the question is there ever an end point in our journey or quest in this evolution towards love no evolution of consciousness is an open-ended system there always remains people to help and to love there always remains many ways in which you could demonstrate a capacity to love or help one another which is why it is an open-ended system you see a consciousness increases or decreases its entropy according to the quality of the information it creates okay does the, does the information move the consciousness toward love based intents and choices high quality or towards fear based intents and choices low quality now moving toward love based intents facilitates positive evolution while moving towards fear based intents facilitates the evolution of the consciousness now speaking about choices a good choice as opposed to a bad choice moves the consciousness and system in its entirety towards lowering entropy or lower entropy states which is positive evolution becoming love okay it is generally a moral also called high quality of love based intent that expresses itself as a good choice that increases this quality which lowers the entropy of the individual and the system as a whole you see will and intent are attributes of a whole individuated unit of consciousness which is you okay you are a individuated unit of consciousness okay having a human experience through an avatar okay and this ag avatar uh, this this individuated unit of consciousness was partitioned off or segmented off in order to live in a specific reality okay and in this specific reality that you were part partitioned off or segmented off controls an avatar okay which is your physical body but it's important for you to not get confused into really thinking that you are your avatar you are an individuated unit of consciousness that's been sectioned off okay which is called a free will awareness unit now this free will awareness unit is that segmented portion that is engaged in your life getting a job going going to work paying bills going to school raising children being a good brother or sister mother or daughter employee or employer okay now going back to will and intent will and intent are attributes of a whole individuated unit of consciousness and not simply creations of 
an intellectual level of consciousness, okay? Love and fear are all defined in terms of entropy, which is a measurable quantity, okay? And there is no limit in relation to how perfect the aspect of love can be. Therefore, this larger system of consciousness is a system that continually evolves, okay? Decreasing elements of fear and ignorance and moving progressively towards what? Love, which is the highest vibration. Okay, now the intellect cannot by itself love or lower entropy. And let me say this again because a lot of people might get this confused. The intellect cannot by itself love or lower entropy, nor does the intent drive intent or will. See, intent is a reflection of conscious quality, all right? Will, the will is an applied intent, and neither can be directed by analyzing data. Intent and will operate at a deeper level than the intellect, which represents only the functions of information storage and data analysis. Moving away from fear, ego, and belief, which having a high uh, amount of either one is destructive towards love okay in human terminology being other focused is the defining characteristic of love okay love is all about other okay your capacity to love which is a measure of the entropy of your system is inversely related to your ego and fear okay your being contains all right the more love at your being level evidence is a greater evolutionary quality now that doesn't mean that someone who is a wimp or lets people run over them is somehow more highly evolved no being love is actually more on the side of courageous in fearlessness which is actually a dominant trait okay so let's not get uh, this aspect of love uh, as being weak okay now as we evolve because some people might ask the question what is the point as we evolve this larger system of consciousness evolves this reality that we uh, live in, that we go throughout life, experiencing, you know, poverty, joy, peace, pain, misery, is actually a virtual reality entropy reduction trainer game, okay? Basically, we are in, we are, uh, what we are in is part of a strategy to evolve. Okay, in the concept of this idea of uh, increasing uh, the quality of consciousness and moving towards, evolving towards love, the aspect of creating a simulation in order to fast track this has been around even before the earth was. Okay, so when, I was, when I'm talking about virtual realities and simulations, it's not, it shouldn't be looked at as a new concept. Okay, it's been around even before the beginning. It's an ancient concept, but we're just now coming to understand it. You see what I'm saying? So don't look at this as being new age because I'm talking about simulations and virtual realities. Just look at it as um, awakening to a, a paradigm that essentially has been lost throughout the ages, but it's now, the information is now coming uh, d down to the earth again. Now, we are here essentially to grow up and evolve ourselves along with this entire system. So as as we evolve, and this is I should say this too, um, each person should not think of themselves as being insignificant because your evolution, your personal evolution towards love, helps the greater system to evolve. And likewise, if you de-evolve towards chaos and fear, the system 
devolves in a small way okay so your evolutionary progress is the system's evolutionary progress and that's what we should all be working towards okay we are here to grow up and evolve ourselves along with the entire system okay and individualized consciousness with a higher quality of consciousness and therefore love have a higher vested interest to the larger system because they have been evolving longer and have a broader experience base which is why these avatars that are highly evolved receive continual synchronistic help working with their free will okay quote unquote to stay the course so to speak and remember when i'm speaking of free will i'm speaking of uh, choices that are uh, readily perceivable okay or a will i don't i wouldn't necessarily like to call it free so it's, it's more of a because free will is also contingent upon desires and intents biology etc etc okay so let me just say your will all right people that are highly evolved and steadily moving towards love tend to have a lot of synchronistic uh, events occur in their life meaning things they can see patterns and see things um, placed before them to help them to grow even further okay also uh, dreams vivid dreams uh, getting a lot of information intuitively etc etc okay those that are lesser evolved however tend to be more chaotic and disorganized all right and this is not to say that this larger system loves some more than others but some love more than others okay ones with a larger experience base are pushed and chastised more than other ones just starting out with a lower experience base in order to stay the course and continue to evolve so the ones that are more highly uh, evolved I'm not saying they're better than the ones that aren't i'm just saying they're further along on their path those are the ones that have a capacity to influence and really move forward and evolve the system more okay so they're actually pushed more and chastised more okay not to say that one's better than the other necessarily it's just that one is further along on their path and thus is encouraged to keep and stay the path okay because of uh this culmination of vested energy already into the system towards evolution now what is ego okay ego is belief and service to fear ego and fear go hand in hand okay and we define ourselves and our relationships with others in terms of our fear and ego okay which is not good okay let's just say you have a fear of being forced coerced or pressured because of mm, the cops or an oppressive government etc okay this force coercion and pressure might be all you know and thus you make choices in life based upon these coercions pressures and fears you start to see very few options and develop a small decision space okay this is not because you actually have very few decisions but this is how you view your reality if you do not if you do not interact within a community of love okay you have a lot in society you have uh, love based communities and you have fear based communities okay every time you turn on the news something something is bad somebody is getting murdered somebody is getting robbed somebody is getting shot you know that's a characteristic of digital programming or entertainment within a fear based society okay fear erodes trust also fear erodes erodes trust without trust cooperation is essentially impossible and without cooperation we all stand alone in fear okay ego can dissuade you from evolving your consciousness out of fear and increasing the quality of your consciousness requires you to face your fear see many people don't like that all right Increasing the quality of your consciousness requires you to face your fears, overcome them, and dissolve your ego. Okay. 
And you should expect your ego to struggle and fight mightily against this, okay? And your ego, all right, being closer to fear has the job of building and maintaining a feel-good fantasy barrier between the fear and the intellect, okay? Remember this, okay? Ego, which is being closer to that fear element, has the job of building and maintaining a feel-good fantasy barrier between the fear and the intellect. So the majority of us have these fears. However, this ego seeks to counterbalance our fears and seeks to suppress our fears by building this uh, feel-good fantasy barrier between the fear and intellect. Okay? So just because also as a side note, just because someone is intellectual does not mean or highly intellectual does not mean they are more highly evolved, period. OK, and because the ego is generated in response to fear, you can see that love increases. You can see that. um. Your capacity or your ability to love increases as you diminish, diminish, excuse me, your fear. All right. So we must, you must primarily let go of fear. You see, without fear, okay, without fear. And with humility, there is no ego. Okay? Both fearlessness and humility are required and are the byproduct of a successfully evolving consciousness. Okay? Fear is fundamental. It is the opposite of love, which is also fundamental. So fear and love are also, are both fundamental. Fear manifests itself in your thoughts, intents, and choices in many ways, all related to each other, okay? Ego, expectations, needs, wants, and desires are all interrelated. Self-focused, okay? Meaning the vectors pointing inward towards yourself, okay? And generated by fear. So, just to restate things, love, which is the opposite of fear, is about other it is also creatively expressed as compassion toward and caring about other all right it expresses itself in terms of service and value to others love is awareness expressing an intention to be caring helpful and useful to others not using others not manipulating others okay and to be more precise compassion and caring service and value being helpful and useful to others are the results of awareness acting on a love based intent which is also a fearless intent okay because love goes hand in hand with fearlessness okay and fear goes hand in hand with lovelessness okay love is the fundamental nature of a low entropy consciousness love is given away at the being level while need is negotiated at the intellectual level all right love is given away at the being level while need is negotiated at the intellectual level level and when you eliminate a normal quote unquote being's high entropy fear his ego and beliefs also drop away and what you have left is a very abnormal low entropy being of love thus love as used here extends much beyond the more normal english language concept expressed by the english word love and related most strongly to eros okay it rather includes most of the other aspects perhaps expressed in other languages and also including such concepts of compassion, caring, and empathy. Okay. Loving yourself is called, and let's get into this really, okay? Because when thinking about love, uh, there's also 
what's called narcissism okay and narcissism is loving yourself and is very dysfunctional okay and it's not feeling negative about yourself is necessary in the first step to growing up and getting rid of your fears okay and you you don't have to be the embodiment of perfect love to be an entity of great love or to experience great love okay love is not an all or nothing sort of thing okay one develops one capacity to love from very little to very much as one decreases one's fear and ego content okay i.e raises the quality of one's consciousness or lowers one's entropy by pulling yourself up okay and one can experience or you can experience great love even if you haven't developed much of a capacity to love you see most of us are on paths moving toward growing up becoming beings of love but we can experience and express love to whatever capacity we have developed throughout our entire journey okay and love is not what you find at a specific endpoint love is what you are okay what you're developing within your being all along okay it's a process perfection in love or anything else does not exist in real entities or in the larger consciousness system okay so let me say that again perfection in love or anything else does not exist in real entities or in the larger this larger system of consciousness okay it's it's the process okay there's always something more to learn evolution like i said earlier is an open-ended process not a wandering towards some fixed goal okay now fear fear which is the opposite of love is about self okay and fear is creatively expressed as ego belief and expectation it expresses itself in terms of value to itself you know i need i want i believe i expect i deserve okay and to be more precise ego and belief self-centeredness and expectation are the results of awareness acting on a fear-based intent okay Now, now let me really say that again, okay? Ego and belief, self-centeredness and expectation are all the results of awareness acting on a fear-based intent okay fear is the fundamental nature of a high entropy consciousness okay fear is the fundamental nature of a high entropy consciousness period okay fear resides at both the intellectual and being levels okay and without fear there is no ego belief or expectation and the intellectual and being level become one without differentiation okay and as fear is decreased awareness and decision space increases as well all right now ego is not simply self-awareness okay as we have said before uh, a sense of self a sense of one's own existence is both necessary and good otherwise there could be no collective experience or learning okay awareness that is not in response to fear which we could call super ego all right is also a good thing so if you have awareness that is not in response to fear okay we can refer to this also as an expression of love okay see while love expresses awareness in the service of others ego expresses awareness in reaction to fear okay thus ego is the result of awareness acting on a fear-based intent you see ego resides at both the intellectual and being levels all right now this consciousness evolutionary process works like this okay and listen close because this is important experience happens among interactive players okay us we as units of consciousness engaging in a human experience through avatars okay 
we have this experience, okay, of encountering other avatars, okay, in the simulation within this virtual reality. And you, all right, as the mind of your avatar in this place, have to deal with that experience by making choices that are inspired by your goals and intents, okay? You react to your experience. The quality of your goals and intent leads to specific choices that over time cause you to evolve or de-evolve and each choice is based on intent you know vision planning motivation that is either fear-based or love-based goals intents choices that are neutral all right eventually lead to stagnation which eventually leads to deterioration or de-evolution all right and it also leads to a more limited set of choices, okay? A choice is good if it leads to lower, uh, lower system entropy, which is positive consciousness evolution evolving towards becoming love, okay? And moral intentions almost always lead to good choices and will always, in the long run, lead to lowering system entropy, all right? So you don't have to read a huge thousand page book or have a whole entire library of books to explain or define morality or love to you or right doing to you all right some say listen to your conscience okay some say it's instinctual what's within you and the reason why that is is because within you instinctually or consciously is a wanting or a leading or a pushing you towards evolving towards love okay which is instinctively uh moral all right now i'm not saying that one can't be pushed towards Uh, a negative uh, evolutionary path but basically being moralistic is what or the definition of morality is whatever seeks to lower the system's entropy or disorder okay whatever holds back evolution towards love is bad whatever stimulates progressive evolution towards love is good okay it's very simplistic all right it's just that religion makes it very complicated now are this interactive multiplayer reality okay which is our apparent physical reality is designed to create a challenging or create challenging experiences leading to productive choices by us by consciousness okay think of it as an entropy reduction trainer okay for consciousness all right this is the purpose of life the purpose of the simulation that's the purpose to why you're here you're a soldier in this army of this larger consciousness system okay all for one and one for all all right and this larger consciousness system uh, seeks to facilitate the evolution of itself in order to survive and to live rather rather than to die okay all right and when speaking of evolution okay evolution and survival go hand in hand because you must survive in order to evolve and to evolve you must survive okay so evolution and survival go hand in hand all right so that's the purpose of this larger system that we're a part of okay that's surviving that has uh, segmented off portions of consciousness to interact with each other and thus grow at a faster rate the more you separate and interrelate okay the faster you can get things done all right
Okay. It ke- it creates more complexity. All right. And with more complexity comes uh, higher rates of change in diversity. Okay. Now, there are two basic requirements, okay, in conclusion, to living an ethical life, okay, being an ethical person, all right, and you must seek to make the best ethical choices you can based upon the best information you can gather at the time, all right, assessing accuracy and completeness of data without adding distortions due to your fear, ego, and belief. Remember, fear, ego, and belief are detrimental to our system okay and you must also number two learn to live gracefully with uncertainty all right learn to live gracefully with uncertainty learn to live gracefully with uncertainty that that concept within you that seeks to know everything that wants to know everything and you know prove everything that's ego all right see use open-minded skepticism to assess the truth in terms of tentative probabilities okay avoid adding distortions generated by your fear ego and beliefs all right accept that you will make mistakes and be imperfect but that's okay that's cool because you will fix the error as soon as you discover the error and you are continuously working on it now in real time all right It's not your responsibility to fix the world. Your responsibility is to fix yourself. And if you are actively working on that as effectively and efficiently as you know how, you are doing your part, okay? Now, beyond that, hey, let the cookie crumble however it does, okay? Learning opportunities and challenges are provided for all, okay? Now, this larger system of consciousness, as I said, evolves by lowering its entropy, all right, which is a degree or a measurement of disorder within a given system. And it has developed these methods and processes like virtual realities and simulations, which this isn't the only one. This is just one of many to more effectively and efficiently increase its rate of entropy reduction, okay, as any intelligent sentient system would okay and this simulation this this reality is just one of many okay it was established based upon a rule set okay which we commonly call laws and it was allowed and consciousness was or um elements within this system was allowed were allowed to grow and evolved along a natural evolutionary process okay then when it got to a certain then you had elements of consciousness from really uh, uh, fundamental elements of consciousness that took upon uh, more simplistic avatars you know and they experienced this reality and then as we evolved as humanity evolved then more complex uh, individuated units of consciousness um, portion themselves off and became and lived through these avatars all right and remember you are not your body your body is just a physical avatar okay that you are experiencing all right if we um now there's this push towards um transhumanism okay and merging human humans with computers you know, is that the end of humanity? Well, it really doesn't matter, okay? Because consciousness is can, can, could control that as well. We have to remember that this is that uh, our physical bodies are within a reality, but the consciousness is outside of the reality that is controlling and vicariously having an experience through a physical avatar, okay? And if you're kind of confused on that. Uh, Go back to my previous installments and they'll load your boat. Okay. And we nowadays, I mean, it's really kind of hard to look at it like that because we live in the midst of continuous propaganda wars, 
with any number of individuals and groups trying to manipulate how we think, how we feel, from marketing the government to quote unquote news and entertainment, religion, politics, and everyone else, okay? Everything else, okay? And pretty much all of it is fear based. You know, your, your fear represents a handle by which others can easily manipulate you, all right? And this propaganda dominates our culture and is inevitable uh, result of our entrance into this information age. Okay. Thus, most of it appe appeals and is designed to make you fearful. You know, if you can't be made fearful, then you are not likely to join or promote a cause. Okay. And all of this makes the truth difficult, if not impossible to find. You see, the best propagandist usually wins. All right, because we are essentially a very highly entropic, unknowledgeable, unthinking, and fearful people. So basically, my best advice is just listen carefully to all sides, form a tentative hypothesis, remain open-minded and skeptical. Okay, believe nothing, take nothing for granted. Okay, because you must learn to live gratefully in a world of uncertainty, and a need for certainty generates, or generally, leads to belief. All right, once again, um, I am Brother Prodigy, and this is another installment titled Love vs. Fear, okay? So make sure, if you don't subscribe, if you're not a subscriber, like and subscribe. Also, check out the book. I got a book on Amazon titled Gnosis of a God, G-N-O-S-I-S -S of God a god g-o-d all right go get the book it's in it's in stores now and if it's not in stores request it order it okay once again support your brother all right once again i'm coming to you live and direct this is for the archives please share peace one love namaste